Okay, so here we've got Turk and Flashback on the PS4. Uh, this is courtesy of Strictly Limited uh, Games, so thank you very much for the opportunity this amazing collection. Alrighty, so this consists of uh, uh, Turrican, Turrican 2, Mega Turrican, and Super Turrican. Um, Turrican 1 and Turrican 2 were both released in the Commodore Amiga. Um, and uh, for those that don't know, the uh, uh, Turrican series is a great uh, run gun series. Um, those again first released on, on the uh, Commodore Amiga, and then there was a uh, title released on the uh, suggests Mega Drive in, in, in 1994, which is this, this one here, Mega Turrican. And then Super, Tur Super Turrican was released the year before in 1993 on the uh, Super Nintendo. And then Turrican uh, and Turrican 1 were released, or Turrican and Turrican 2 were released in 1990 and 1991, respectively. So, um, when you go into each game, you have the options. So you've got lots of options here. You've got controls. Uh, you've got uh, stereo. You've got HUD. You have display uh, for aspect ratio. You have scaling. Uh, the wallpaper. You can select it, uh, the whether or not you want the CRT filter or not. You can pick different color, uh, different color screen. Screen if you're like colorblind, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, you have rewind speed. If you want a one or two X. Defaults, uh, race high score, reset all options. Uh, if I were to go ahead and so you can do displays for you can do a uh, four by three ratio, which gives you a border. You can give uh, you can do a perfect display uh, or full screen. I find full screen, depending on the monitor or the monitor TV you're playing on, full screen can be a little overwhelming. It's for me, it's huge, so I just don't use it. Um, so I, I'd prefer either 4.3 or uh, f sorry 4 by 3 or, or, or perfect. Uh, so and then you've got oh uh, you got save and load states, so that's kind of cool. I like to see that. You have cheats. You can actually go ahead and it'll tell you how to cheat in the game. But if you do cheat, you won't earn trophies or achievements if you're playing on Xbox One uh, or the uh, uh, PS4. Now when you start the game, you have the option of doing standard mode or trophy challenge. Uh, trophy challenge allows you to earn trophies, uh, but you don't have the option of using the rewind feature or the save states. And don't cheat, otherwise you want your trophies. So I'm going to go ahead and do standard mode. And here is standard mode in the perfect uh, display resolution. See the board all the way around. And we're gonna do uh, looks good to me. And we're gonna hit escape. So remember it's being emulated the Mega version. So, so here's here's Turkin. So it is a running gun, uh, side scrolling shooter. There we go. Get this hidden block with some great stuff in it. So you've got the uh, square button to fire your gun. Um, circle is the sparkly effect. I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, invincibility. You have the triangle button to for your secondary fire. And then you've got um, R1 for that kind of... Uh, Attack there. You've got the uh, R1 for your or L1 for your rewind. You have uh, L2 for this weapon here, and then you've got your I don't know what you really call that with the L2 or R R2 there. I love the rewind feature, especially in this game. This game's pretty difficult, um, but such a so, such a, a good series. Um, I don't have much um, uh, experience with the first two uh, Turkins, as I never had an Amiga. 
And I swear those they are uh, Palax lists, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't really like these games, honestly. Uh, the first two, I just don't like them, and that's probably because I never played them previously. And uh, I don't know. They just they just look. No, oh, they're just there's not there's not a lot of fun. I, I like the the. Uh, uh, me uh, Mega Turk and, and um, Super Turk are better. This is the graphically look better, and I feel the colors pop more. And just overall, it's like the I like those two better. But this is the first Turk, and not a not, not a bad game as a, as a first entry um, uh, into the series here. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. Really? Love that rewind feature. <laughs> Oops. That was dumb. Really? There we go. Oh, that was... I was like, here. Survive that, then just die. I've found that I've had to use the rewind feature quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's, I think that's enough of, of uh, Turk, and let's go ahead and do a save state. And then we're going to go ahead and close the game and go on to Turk and 2. Again, every game has the same options. And we're going to do standard mode. Oh, and so the options... As you can see here, the options actually do not. Ref uh, the uh, the options are um, specific to each game. So this is the four by three ratio, I believe. Yeah, this isn't full screen. So here's uh, Turkin Two. Uh, graphically, it does look better um, than the first one, as you can see. I also feel that the first two games are a little more floaty than uh, uh, Mega Turkin and uh, Super Turkin. Whoa, oh, that was kind of cool. Okay. Really? Oh, that's a uh, sort of like gotcha death right there. Another thing I don't care for is the fact that you can't shoot up, which I believe you can do in either Super, super Turrican or, or, or uh, uh, Mega Turrican. I really do like the, uh, why am I not able to, oh, let's just go this way, really, I'm just going, nope, okay, so I'm assuming he's telling me I can't go that way, okay, oh, that's the way, they, they think it's the game telling me I'm going the wrong way. Yep. Okay. Okay, so Turrican 2 is kind of growing on me, I guess. <laughs> now that I'm, 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 I'm giving it more of a shot here. Oh. Still not as good as, as the other two, though. Okay, alright, so enough of that. I'll save it. 
And then we'll go ahead and move on to the other two games here. Uh, let's actually start with let's start with Mega Turrican. Okay, so the she modes are different. The she codes are different with the Mega Turrican, Super Turrican, and Turrican One, Turrican Two. So with Mega Turrican and Super Turrican, uh, you can do button combinations while the game is paused. That's kind of cool. Oh well, yeah, and if you cheat, you will not earn trophies. Let's go options real quick. So normal, okay, so all that's good. Let's start. I do like how in each, whoa, uh, how in each of these games the the levels are just vast and they encourage exploration, which is really nice to see. I like that. Now in this game, oops, I I showed it to you after by accident. In this game you've got a uh, a rope mechanic, which I'm gonna have to use here in just a second, actually. right up here um, so this reminds me a lot of like um, uh, Bionic Commando <laughs> which is really cool I love, love the uh, Bi uh, uh, Bionic Commando series can you just there you go so can you just die now <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go, and jump. Ooh, I know it's gonna happen. Here's a, uh, I think this is a mid pause, or not a, Wow, it actually died a lot quicker than it did last time I, I was playing this last night. It died within seconds, I like this weapon. Okay, I don't like this weapon. <laughs> but, no, I'm joking, entirely joking. So it's a cool weapon, like this. But yeah, I really like how uh, each of the levels, um, or how each of the games, rather, um, promotes uh, exploration, trying to find secrets and and power-ups and such. It's really cool. But again, I guess most most games like this kind of did that back in the day. But it's still nice to see, you know, you know, in uh, today's gaming world. <laughs> Okay, you can jump on the uh, enemies too. Oh, I forgot that does that. The the the, the platform will crush you. So you gotta move off that real quick. Let's rewind that and not do that this time. <laughs> oh, 
There we go. Whoa. These rockets are definitely helping. <laughs> Might have been able to do it actually. Let's try to wait. Cool. Go up here. Awesome. I just don't want to get crushed, is why I, why I jumped off. Yeah, so as you can see, I've been playing this way more than the other two. It's because, again, I really enjoyed this one. And Super Kirk and over the first two. I'm going to go ahead and actually um, save this. So we can kill this thing. You know, that thing's disgusting. Oh. Should not have done that. Wrong button to be using. I guess I just sit here and do this all the, the whole time. Maybe. Nope. What? What just killed me? Come on. Whoa. Let's do this the whole time, I guess, because otherwise I'm going to probably die. the eyes. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, no. Cool. Got him. Yep. Got him. Cool. Yay. Did it. Beat the level. Yay. I love all the explosions. <laughs> cool. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and... This is the second level. Oh, whoa, hello. Okay. Oh. 
just died. That was cool. Love that rewind feature. Wow, that was cool. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save the state here. And we're gonna go ahead and check out my other favorite game here in this in this uh, awesome compilation that is Super Turrican. On the Super Nintendo. Oh, and it saved my last. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna do par... I'm gonna do perfect, actually. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this is a Super Turrican on the Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Excuse me, I can't speak. <laughs> so this game definitely feels like the sprites are a little bit smaller um, than in uh, Mega Turrican. And I think that has to do with the, just how the Genesis processes sprites, I think. If I'm mistaken, sprites, uh, sprites are generally going to be bigger in, uh, in Genesis games. Get the shield and die. Don't mind if I do. And I may have mistakenly said that you can't shoot up in the, in the previous turrets, but you can't do it in any one of them. I think I was thinking of a different game when I said that. Can't recall what the game is, but oh, <laughs> it was a different one. Oh, come on. I love the colors. The colors just pop off the screen. look really good. Whoa. I don't want to do that. And I like how the how the game, because of how the big levels are, I think that's I think is why it does this. It kinda keeps pointing you towards the the exit. I'm not gonna try to get those. I'm just gonna go to the exit here. Scaling, awesome mode seven. Very nice use of it. <sighs> Come on. There we go. That was cool. Power up. Also in um, in this one, you don't have the the rope. Um, instead, you have or the I guess the metal or the bionic arm. I'm sure is what it would, would really be. Instead, you have this uh, uh, electric attack.
which I much prefer the arm. Honestly. I mean, this game is still really awesome and a lot better than <laughs> the first two games. But I would like to have seen the uh, I, I, the, the Bionic Arm make a return, I think. Really? I just died? Oh, I did that. That's why. I died again. Let's rewind that. Let's rewind that again. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do a safe state here. Okay, so this has been the uh, Turkin flashback compilation on PS4. Um, this series of games is definitely worth picking up. Um, this game, this, this series is great. Um, especially given the price point. Uh, if you try to get these games on, on, on the original formats, you'd be paying uh, a, a, a considerably uh, larger amount than if you went for this collection. And with it being on the Switch, it'd be, it'd be portable. So there's, there's that bonus too. And with the Xbox One and the PS4 versions, you have uh, the uh, trophies. So that's there. There you go. There's there's the reason to get uh, to get those versions as well, or you can get all three. But uh, but yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, in my opinion, I love the uh, Turkin games. Definitely. Uh, it creates the games here. Again, more so the uh, <laughs> the Super Nintendo and the um, uh, Genesis uh, version uh, games, but still, um, all the games are pretty pretty good, pretty neat, and definitely uh, definitely worth checking out. So. Um, a big shout out to Strictly Limited Dave of Strictly Limited Games for the review uh, code of this game and in games for, for providing uh, these codes. Uh, this is a great series. Highly recommend this. Can't recommend this actually series. Uh, can't recommend the series enough. Uh, so if you want, if you want to check these games out for yourselves, uh, links to purchase, purchase the games will be in the description down below as always. Um, if you haven't considered subscribing to the channel, please consider doing so. I would love to see you uh, check out more videos. I've got some great videos on the channel and great ones on the way, so definitely worth worth subscribing for if you like uh, retro uh, content, uh, indie games, um, mainstream games. I cover a little bit of all that, so uh, again, sh huge shout out to Inning Games and uh, Sure, Limited Games for the re opportunity to give this collection. It's a great collection. Definitely worth every penny. Uh, and uh, that's it. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.